You can also use the Sivo CLI in order to create your Sivo Kubernetes cluster. And uh, it's available in on across variables, uh, variable operating systems because you can find the latest release in the GitHub repository, which is also open source. Or if you're using Homebrew on macOS, you can install it as uh, follows like we'll be doing right now. So I can just say brew tab, you can say Sivo tools and brew install Sivo. I already have it installed, I believe. So if you just run this command and you don't have it already installed, then it's going to install it for you. You can also use curl. So you can say something like uh, this. So I'll just copy this command that I wrote previously. This is a particular command if you wanted to use curl. And that is also going to install the latest release that is going to fetch from GitHub. Cool. And uh, in order to check if it's already installed, so just write uh, CO and you will get something like this. So all the available commands and everything will be mentioned over here. Now, the next thing you need to do is um, you need to make sure that you have access to your account using this CLI. So in order to do that, you have to set an API key. Now your CEO account will already have uh, one created for you if you already have a CEO account. And you can find that under cvo.com slash API hash authentication. So if you just go over there, there'll be like a section called authentication where, where you will be having your uh, CEO API key. And uh, in, order to, uh, in order to add that key, though you just run the command called CEO API key, add the name and then the key. For example, if I do it something like this, so this is basically like a demo key. So you can just say the command is CVO API key add demo test key and then you just add this particular key. Cool. All right. And then you just need to set this as your current key. So for example, if you had demo test key created previously, you can run this command to send, set it as your default key basically. All right. Now the next step is basically uh, to create a Kubernetes cluster using Sivo. So what I can do over here is I can write the command Sivo create. I can say uh, Sivo Kubernetes create. I can uh, say Academy Kunal. And I can also provide the size. So for example, I can say uh, G3 dot K3S dot uh, medium. And I can also provide the nodes initially, let's say as add to, and uh, also some other flags. Now, if you want to learn more about all the, you know, list all the command options for cluster creation, you can do that via um, this particular command. So you can say something like uh, Sivo Kubernetes help create. So you can get all the particular commands for creating a Kubernetes cluster using the Sivo CLI. So it's particularly creating a cluster right now. It's going to take around one minute or something. But uh, if you want to, you know, um, if you want to view the cluster information already, so you can just run that command as well. So I had a few, I have a few clusters being created already. So I can say Sivo Kubernetes show cube academy kunal. And you can see it has all the particular information about my Kubernetes cluster over here. Pretty cool. So it has the region as London, the name, ID, and nodes, and the size, and the status, and API endpoints, external API. All these things are available over here. And um, just one, one last thing, you can also use uh, all the other commands that were available over there in order to you know um, scale up your cluster, for example, or if you want to add, uh, if you want to add some applications from the Sivo marketplace as such, so you can use Sivo Kubernetes. Let me zoom in a little bit. Sivo Kubernetes applications list. So here you can see these are all the applications that you can use, and. Uh, it's a, it's a, we're adding more, more and more via the community demands because the CEO marketplace is open sourced. So you can see our cluster was created in like under two minutes in one minute and 45 seconds. That's pretty fast. And you can now explore this and you can scale your cluster. You can recycle the nodes. You can also delete your cluster. So example, I can say something like, um, uh, Kubernetes 
remove cuba cat cuba cat me kunal this is going to uh, delete my kubernetes cluster i'm going to say yes and you can see it has been deleted thanks a lot for watching